Looking sharp all wedding season long shouldn't be expensive. With a custom fitted suit from Indochino, you'll create priceless memories without costing a fortune. Customize every detail on your suit, shirt, dinner jacket, and more in a range of colors from traditional black or gray to burgundy or olive to a classic Hemsworth navy. RSVP knowing you've got the perfect look all wedding season long from Indochino. Go to Indochino.com and use code SUPER to get 10% off any purchase of $3.99 or more. That's I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O dot com, promo code SUPER. Listen up, people. This is another episode of the Super Mega Cast, but Matt and I have stuff to say. That's right. Whether you like it or not, we're going to be doing a podcast today, and it's going to be a fucking podcast. Yeah, and we have uh, some things to say about our buddy Wes Anderson's new film, and, Asteroid uh, City. Yeah, we got a couple things to say about Wes. Uh, we got a couple great jokes about the uh, submarine. Um... Yeah, very timely ones when this comes out. And and just so we can put the so people know about what time it is. Today was the day uh they discovered that they all f- got crushed and incinerated. They all died in an instant. So th- the thing that I garnered from that was that part of me was like thank God. Cuz you know, you put yourself Thank God that they died, Ryan? No, let me let me let me explain. Let me explain. Can 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 you back off? Sorry, that's okay. you lib jumping to cancel any anyone that you know, regardless of connection, just for a higher opportunity. Yes. Oh, true. Yeah, we're on YouTube, baby. That's right, baby. Um. Anyways, where was I? You were talking about your take on 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 why you're happy that they passed away. What? Okay, I went. Thank God, because. You put yourself in these people's shoes most of the time. And I was thinking, worst case scenario, they're all stuck on, like, the fucking rudder of a Titanic because it's, like, happened before. They're stuck on some piece of the Titanic or they're stuck somewhere. They're just stuck. And they're running out of oxygen slowly. They're all getting more angry, uh... Just like they're they're becoming more well more angry because they're hungry and they're been thirsty and deprived and they're all they they don't have a proper bathroom. They could have made a good Snickers commercial out of this scenario. <laughs> they could have. You're not you when you're hungry. But it's like and then then like oxygen like is it's becoming like more like increasingly like like you can tell the oxygen is getting thinner. Well, that's what they were. So they're saying like, well, they only have one hour of oxygen left. But it's not like they have one hour of oxygen and then it's like. Like finger snap, but yeah. it slowly runs out, so it's gonna get harder to breathe over that time period. Yeah, I did see though people were saying that like if they were still alive at the bottom, you know, they might have come to the conclusion like, well, it's ninety six hours for uh, or it's like they have twenty four hours left for five people, but if there were only four people, they'd have more time. Uh, but then people also. Th- th- we're no scientists, but then people were jumping and saying that it takes more oxygen, like uh. Body decomposition requires more oxygen than like you would when you're alive, just oh, your normal interesting. stuff. But then other people said at the same time, it would be so cold down there that maybe they wouldn't decay at that rate. So killing each other off one by one would have been. But well, I'm saying I'm happy that they ins- got incinerated and crushed because there was not a moment of panic in any of their brains, more than likely, right? They They were just... Oh, here we go. Oh, some stupid joke, right? They're all laughing. Maybe something said someone there go, what the fuck? In, in the moment of that, like, huh? Like, it was like, done. Quicker it, than that sound effect. That there's, there's, I, I think that's just one of the probably better ways to go. People say, like, in your sleep. I would say definitely, like, you d- in a way where you don't know that. Oh, they that's probably they, honestly they died a very fantastic death. Yes, it's it it was a fraction of a second, and except for the fact that a, you saw the same TikTok where it's like when they when when it becomes when it implodes like that the the air superheats to the surface temperature of the sun for mm-hmm. a split second, so they got vaporized. Getting vaporized is a great way to die. It's just foink, you know, <laughs> nothing to clean up, no mess for anybody. So that's that's why because like. The other, the only other option was they they slowly go mad, starve, freeze. Uh, more than likely, they would would they would probably freeze to death before they That's ran what out they of said. oxygen, right? If, if the, like the power, if like the heating wasn't working, like if they if it lost power, mm-hmm. then uh, they'd freeze first. Because at the bottom of the ocean, like that, fuck, what's wrong? Sorry, I just realized I don't 
want people to know that I can afford these shoes. Oh, dude. Fuck. Audio listeners. I mean, they already saw them, I guess. Won't know. Yeah. yeah. You, show, you showed them now, so. Yeah, I'll just say, like, I'm... I, I, it's fine. Just uh, cut this uh, part out, Luke. Uh, they're, they're, I already put them in. They're, they've already been uh, in. I, I got a thing. Just come okay, in. Okay. Just, I'll, we'll just come in from here. <coughs> oh, also, dude, um, by, by the way, I wanted to mention uh, how funny it is uh, that you that you got a fake uh, $2 pair of those expensive shoes. I know, dude. Just yeah. so people on the podcast would think you were in the real expensive ones. Oh, uh, so, okay. I knew I couldn't put it Zoom past. Zoom in on it, Luke. Show, show the shoes. You know, I couldn't put it past uh, Fashionista Watson, you know. So, yeah, okay. They're not the real deal. They are a... They are a $2 hack job that I got at the Glendale Mall, the, like the Galleria. I also, by the way, while I was at the mall, took the elevator up instead of the escalator. No way. I also the got The glass some, one that yep. you can like see out of in like the whole like mall lobby? Got some Wetzel's pretzels. Wetzel's stopped pretzels. by Target, tooled around Macy's for a bit. Yeah. And they, you know, ended it off with a little bit of Bloomingdale's action. Little Bloomingdale's action. <laughs> Are we blooming it up today? Yo, what's <laughs> up, Ryan? You want to bloom it up today? That's where we get a blooming onion for lunch and then go to Bloomingdale's. Because to there's shop. an Outback Steakhouse right oh. next to the Bloomingdale's. Or we go to the Bloomingdale's first, then celebrate our purchases with a blooming onion. Oh, yeah. Like walk into the <laughs> Outback Steakhouse with tons of bags. Yeah. Exactly. I like that. I like that. Uh, we should, we should... All we get is the blooming onion. Yeah, that's it. Even if it's more than what it's like, we just like another blooming onion. Bring out another round. Blooming onions for the house. <laughs> the, I was about to say restaurant and then house, and it came out as host. Well, it, maybe you're European. It's... My intention was to say house. You're maybe you're Canadian. Maybe. For the host. <laughs> My host. <laughs> I don't think it's how Canadians say it. But <laughs> no. If someone asks, just be like, "I'm Canadian." Oh, okay. But yeah, I mean, we could, we could, we, we could should do bloom that. it up soon, man. We should go to an outback steakhouse here. And I promise you, we wouldn't be spending that much and legitimately get blooming onions for the house. We went to every Outback Steakhouse in California. What if we, uh... In the Los Angeles County area. How many are you think they're in Los Angeles County? There's got to be at least, like, 15 Outback Steakhouses. 15? Prop, dude, it's, Los Angeles County is, like, the second biggest county in America, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Or maybe that's just by population. I haven't seen an Outback in Santa Monica unless I be fibbing. <sighs> There is a cheesecake factory. We saw one in Tokyo. We didn't go. No, we didn't. Next time, though, we'll go to Outback Steakhouse in Tokyo. Yes. I'm excited to go to Tokyo. Me too, man. We got to do more Japan vlogs. We, don't, we, don't, we don't have a date. When I say I'm excited to go to Tokyo, that's more like a general. I'm excited to go one day. Now and that I, COVID doesn't exist anymore, yeah. we can finally go back to Japan. Do more Japan vlogs. And uh, we also were put on pause also because of my back. Yeah. Um, My back's still fucked, but I think it could... I could manage it. I could, I could figure something out. I could wa take take little five minute pacing sessions up and down the plane. Say I'm using the restroom, but just stand in the bathroom and 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 do back compression exercises. In in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. You're hogging it from other people that need to use the restroom. Yeah, but I want alone. Couldn't you time. stand? could you? Go I just want alone time. Could you I go to the back area? You don't have to have to use the restroom to use the restroom. That's true. I have gone in there before just to rip ass. Cause I get really gassy when I fly. Like it, it like the, so something about the pressure change. Yeah. I get, I get massive gas bubbles in my, in my digestive system and it hurts so bad. So I have to go into the bath. I'll show you. I have to go in the bathroom and I have to do this. I gotta like bend down like that. And then. Are I they smelly too? No, they don't smell at all. Okay. It's they, just air. Are they funny sounding? Yeah. It's literally like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh, but it's funny, but the thing is when I go in there and do that, I know that outside the door people can hear that cuz it's loud and I'm bending over my ass is up against the door. But it's a bathroom. Yeah, but it's like 12 in a row. It's yeah. like <laughs> I will <laughs> say something that you know, maybe I could be on the passenger side in this case cuz I will say I I have never shuddered more than hearing the watery shits of my mother as she used my restroom. <laughs> When she stayed at our apartment complex back in the day, <laughs> oh, you, t you, t <laughs> you told me that I had when, to go. I had happened. to just leave the apartment. I was like, I gotta just leave this place. Well, let's set the scene first. Your mom came to stay with us. Back, so this is this is back in 2016. 2016. 2016. Yeah. Uh, 2016. 17. Shortly yeah. after we had begun Super Mega, and this is when Ryan and I lived in that little apartment together, and uh, 
you know, Ryan's mom came to visit and um, every single hotel in Los Angeles County was closed. Apparently, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, you know. And, and our couch in the living room was also busted. Or the space in the living room, the out, the area in the living room. It was like a gas leak, so she couldn't sleep in there. So she set up a little, a little cot next to Ryan's bed in his bedroom. She could have had my bed and I could have been on the couch. Exactly. Yeah. You know, but she wanted to sleep in the, in the room with you. Um, so she set up a little cot and she would get up in the morning, sometimes at nights. And I, and there's, I, you know, sound not only travels in that apartment, but the way our apartments was set, were set up was that we had the kitchen and living room space. Then on opposite sides, we each had our matching little bedrooms. Right. Uh, that had uh, a closet. They each had a, they, they were just like a copy of each other. Yeah. And it was, uh, they weird. each had a closet and a bathroom. And so my room had a bathroom. And so when I was like trying to sleep at night or in the morning, I would be woken up to my mom using the restroom sometimes. And what, what that would mostly entail is her like 80 year old body just liquidating all this waste and diet Pepsi that she drinks out into the toilet with like, it is, it, it when I, when I say liquid, it's like, I can only, I, I tell right away by the sound, like that's how detailed and in depth well, the, and I, just guttural. Like I would say it's very guttural sounding, just, <laughs> you know, there's blubbering. And there's, there's the reverb of the bowl of the, uh, yeah. Uh, that's, that's how you described oh, it to me dude. at first. Oh, was the that, reverb was of the bowl. Could, the just ring, like ringing through the bowl. The, the, oh. the dry farts oh. in between the liquidy <laughs> fucking disgusting explosions <laughs> that came out of my own mother. I guess like like <laughs> like like mother like son. <laughs> yeah. You Probably where you got it from. <laughs> you know? I mean, does your dad have a proclivity for insane shits? Not really. And it's from her. It's from your mother's side. <laughs> Like I don't, I, I really, yeah, my, <laughs> you told me, I just remember the first time you told me that it's, it's like we were on the way to work and you were, we were in the, you were in the Fiat and you were telling me just how it's like, you're just laying in bed and like your eyes open, you just, you just hear, <laughs> yeah, just, just echoing in the toilet bowl and you have to get up and like go in the living room. I'm like, I don't want to listen to this. <laughs> she could have used my bathroom. If y'all have experiences of your parents visiting you or, you know. Maybe experiences with your parents' feces. Yeah. <laughs> Share them in the comments, I guess. Love to hear those stories. But yeah. yeah that was those good times. You know, your mom is always welcome to stay with me when she comes in town. I tell her that. I tell her that. And uh She used to. When I first got my own place, she stayed with me. <sighs> yeah, but then you downgraded. Okay. Yeah, I did downgrade, but are you talking about girlfriend wise? No, I I mean you can't go oh, apart. from you can't go from Beverly Hills. To Los Feliz. I thought you were talking about how, you know, I threw your mom to the curb because I started dating that new girl and she got jealous. And your mom was talking about how that girl was ugly. Well, she was ugly. But, you know, live and, live and learn. Who, who cares? It's all about what she's working with, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think Ce Cecile has much room to talk when it comes to that stuff. But I don't want to, you know, in case she watches this, I don't want to. No. Hey, hey that's, that's between you and her. I, 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 I told you... From the start, from the start of this, that I wasn't going to get in between, physically or emotionally. Okay. I'm just too close to both of you, you know what I, I mean? I get it. It's, it's, it, you're in a weird place because it's like, like I'm I, your I, best I, friend, but she's your yeah. mom, you know, so it's kind of like an awkward, I get it. Can you, um, can you say that again when, uh, when my mom, she's like, I'm, when you say that you're my best friend, that. Just say you're one of my best friends. You know, you, do you get where I'm going with this? I, I can't say the best friend. I have to say one of. My mom gets a little hurt. Does but she think that she's your best friend? She she would like to, yeah. She would like to. Imagine. Oh, okay. So, it's, you know, back when I was a, a kid and depended on her, you know. We yeah, were, it's like, you know, mom, you're my best friend. Yeah. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm edging towards 30 now. And, you know, I'm, I'm my own independent person. But she... You don't want to crush your mother's, like, no, and spirits, I, you know? No, I love my mom, you know? Yeah, I do, too. Okay, yeah, well, n when next time she's in town, if she even wants to see me, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll make sure that she knows that I'm one of your best friends. Okay, okay. okay. I'm a good friend. Okay, good, 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 good. You know, because I honestly do think a boy's best friend should always be reserved for his mother. 
Or his friend's mother. Yes, that's right. I meant like a boy's best friend's spot should be reserved for his mother, but it also, I think a boy's best friend should be reserved for his mother. If you get what I'm saying. I, I do get what you're get saying. Get what I'm saying? It was kind of a double entendre there. Not only do I get what you're saying, but I am excited to talk about an alien movie with you. Not really excited because, you know, it's, it's Wes Anderson's new, astro, you know, the Asteroid City. Yeah, we went and saw Asteroid City because they did early screenings in Los Angeles, and California. And we'll talk more about it after these ad reads. That's right. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills and favorite streaming services, inflation is everywhere. Seriously, make it stop. Thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much-needed break. It's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. I know Matt and I love kicking our feet in the air and texting each other with our wonderful plans from Mint Mobile. We didn't even have to switch our phone. I mean, we text each other all day, just, just, just next to each, just sitting next to each other. And it's fine because it's unlimited. To get your wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and to get the plan shipped to your door for free, Go to mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash supermega. If it makes you happy. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope those were some really fun ad reads. Welcome uh, back. There is uh, somehow we, we, we took a five minute break, come back in the room, and there's a motherfucking fly buzzing around like he owns the place. Once again, remember, remember in the, we've had several episodes where we've had a little special guest fly there. He's huge, But dude. it's not the same fly. No, it's not. It could be. So this is, I, it can't. It, Ryan, it he is might just stay, for he might, the same fly. he might fly around, stay dormant, go back to his little fly family. This <laughs> could be his vacation lifespan. Spot. Have you ever seen that episode of Fairly Odd Parents? You don't know Where that. they make the joke that it's like a 24-hour lifespan? You don't know that. I think that was Fairly Odd Parents. Could you, uh, maybe he goes home to his fly wife and fly kids and then comes back here, it's his vacation There's, spot. <laughs> Maybe it's through generations. This has been their family vacation spot. Yeah, last summer. The place with the big light. Yep, because last summer we had a uh, a fly in the podcast room, and now it's June again, and there's a fly buzzing around. Yep. So, Also, we had a fly on the wall because the FBI tapped our... Yeah, well, I don't want to get into the whole FBI wiretap thing. That well, they don't have the right to fucking... I don't know. Technically, yes, they can. The FBI can wiretap us. Did, what, what did I sign? You don't have to sign that? anything. That's what Why? sucks. Why? The That's FBI, what, if they want to so wiretap us, they can on my rights for w w without, without like, proper authorization authorization or, like, consent. Oh, from, they had a judge like, sign. It was well, a, like a judge, but, like, what, what, what is a judge? A judge like, signed some, off some guy on... guy who wears, like, a fucking... Puts on a wig. dress and a wig. <laughs> Sounds more like a lady. Yeah, I, every judge. Ryan, a Ryan, woman? Ryan, there are many justices. <laughs> what? Your, 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 uh, your mom's a justice? <laughs> I'm going to say that if I ever have to go to court. O okay. Um, Mr. Watson, settle down. Speaking of settling down. Oh. We promised our audience. I, I know we got we get sidetracked. That's just the fucking fly. That's just distracted me. That's just how it is. Um, we our together. Farmers. Uh, bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. Yeah. We together saw Wes Anderson's new film, Asteroid City, starring <laughs> Ben Schwartz, Tom Hanks. It's not Ben Schwartz. Oh, who is that? Jason Schwartzman. Jason. J one of the Schwartzmans. One of the Schwartzes. Schwartzman. <laughs> Jason. Jason Schwartzman, the very sorry. short man. Ben Eminem. Schwartz isn't in the movie. I've, uh, sorry, that would have been. That would have... Is he the old guy from American Pie? <laughs> ben Schwartz? Who's Ben Schwartz? Does Ben Schwartz exist? <laughs> ben Schwartz, I thought. Is Ben Schwartz not the dude from like. Uh, oh no. Is he the guy from Par Parks and Rec who's like this annoying dude? I have no I idea. How to, he has like an annoying sister too. What's his fuck? Hold up, hold up. I'm going to look up Ben. Schwartz. I do love Jason Schwartzman. Yeah, it's this dude. I don't really, I don't really care for him much. Yeah, get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> don't show me that. But anyways, Jason, uh, Tom Hanks, mm -hmm. Walt Disney. He looked like Walt. Disney. He did look like Walt Disney. Um, Has he played Walt Disney yet? 
Yes. Yes. Yeah, he played Walt Disney in that uh, Emma Thompson and Walt Dis- like made by the Walt Disney Company okay. movie about Walt Disney and Emma Thompson's character, um, who is the author for Mary Poppins, and how it's like I want to make it into a movie, and she's like, I don't, you're gonna ruin it. Okay. Cool. I, I was just gonna say because if not, he probably will at some point. But he did. Like he already did. He did. Anyway, uh, Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston. Uh, Edward Margot Norton. Robbie. Edward Norton, as you just said. Um, are you forgetting Scar Jo? Scarlett Johansson, who, good lord. Okay, what was what was Ben's first okay. reaction? Ben, Beale. our friend Ben Beal, who for- we've had on the podcast mm-hmm. several times. He comes up and he goes, "Dude, first thing he goes." You, you get full frontal of Scarlett Johansson, and I'm like, I'm getting, dude, I'm getting excited because my loins are inflamed just thinking about that. I go see the movie. She comes out in a towel at one part, and I know it's coming. And she drops the towel. It's a fucking stunt double. What? Yeah. What the f? Because it, it, when she drops the towel, it, it's a different. That angle. gets under my skin. That grinds my gears. No, that gets under my skin. Like the movie, the Scarlett Johansson under movie. Under the skin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good movie, actually. Haven't seen it. Really good. Really good movie. Uh, but, uh, yeah, she drops it, and it's a shot where you only see it in the mirror, and you don't see her face. It's a body double. And then the and this next, is mainly what we wanted to talk to. I know. This is, like, our main review. This is our main gripe This is the, the main film. thing about the movie. And then in the <laughs> next line, she even, they make a joke about, he's like, wow, it looks good. And she's like, yeah, usually they use a stunt double. Yeah. So it was a stunt double. And I guess Ben Beale didn't pick up on that. That little fun little, oh, you didn't. He just said, oh, there's. Read into the. Ben saw a pair of breasts and went. Oh, Scar Joe breasts, but uh, um, <clears throat> overall, I would say our y- you and I agree on on our opinion of the film it being uh pretty uh lackluster, more more uh, visually especially yeah m- the visuals were awful. <laughs> I well I think the opposite uh right. The visuals and everything like that were great. Of course, the aesthetic is always fun. The the cinematography, the symmetry, the all all of that. What you expect from Wes Anderson is there. Um, just not the yeah. story. Sometimes in like his movies, like I really liked uh, Life Aquatic. He can attach mm-hmm. like emotional ties and threads to things. Um, really insensitive to bring that up the same day <laughs> as the fucking submarine deaths. But he can he can he can tie like he can have emotional strings in these goofy situations with these goofy characters. He's proved that he can. Right. It's just that it, I, I didn't feel it this time. It didn't connect with me this time. I didn't see uh, the the line. I guess of what I, if I wasn't supposed to connect with anyone, that's f- fine. If it's just like a slice of life picture, but I think even. It failed at that. Um, if it if if it was if that's what it was, that it's not. It has a plot. It has acts. It has like the the five act structure laid out pretty blatantly for the audience because that it's based on a a play setup. Right. It, it was honestly like the stylization, the visuals, and everything unbelievably good. I like, really I was blown away. Like that was one of the prettiest movies I've ever seen. And then when it came to the actual like the, first of all, the, one of the prettiest movies visually. The cast, phenomenal. Like, the acting was great. I liked the soundtrack a lot. I thought the cast was wasted for the most part. Yeah, well, that's why I feel, because I didn't like the story. I thought it was just convoluted and just kind of like, it's not an easy watch. It's kind of just like, a, it's a bit of a head-scratcher. Maybe I'm just dumb, but it, it for me, it was a bit of a head-scratcher. I was like... I think I would have personally liked the film more if it was a little more contained and straightforward. Yeah. Where... The where it was like a lot more obvious and grandiose about the implications that this is a play that we're seeing through the eyes of more of like a like a movie. This right. is just how like the imagination of the play that this guy wrote. And like uh, I thought the background uh, spoiler alert, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we should probably have spoiler s- alert. something. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll put the, we'll put a sound clip like I'll, I'll make one right now and we'll put it before the. Spoiler alert for uh, Wes Anderson's new film, Asteroid City. Matt Watson and Ryan McGee are about to spoil it. And if you don't like it, you can skip... uh, You can skip to this area or just fast forward until you find it. Whatever Luke wants to do. It's in his hands now. (laughs) Get mad at him if you hear a spoiler. Get mad at Luke. 
anyways, before I we we made that wonderful little sound bite. What 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 was I saying? Uh, it was like uh, oh, I thought it would have worked for me better if it it was a little more direct, um, and was a little more simplified. I know it's like oh, make it dumber, but I I think it would have I don't know just given everything or what it, whatever it was trying to do it it didn't work. Not yeah. just for me, but for a lot of people. Dude, call me stupid, honestly. Like, I, I feel a little nervous saying this, but, like, I didn't get it. Like, when I walked out of the theater, I was like, I didn't understand that. I Neither I wanna, did Justin, though. I'm throwing him under the bus with me. I want to I want to just say real quick uh, the reason I brought up of, like, what, what I would have expected or liked out of the film was that if I liked the setup of having this guy write a play. Yeah. And then you know, he gets involved with one of the actors. I thought it would have been a lot better if that more blatantly, and that took more of a focus in terms of those actions having more of a significant play on what happened in the alien play, yeah. the movie thing. Because the I, I wish there was more cause and effect from each other. And it, it, it's it's not, it, it's, it's it's not blatant, connected. it's not really there. It's, it's yeah. I guess oh, another one of those, uh, I, I was about to say it didn't mean up my expectations, but I didn't have like super high. I was just excited for it. And it just, I, I just remember being bored through most of it. Yeah. Yeah. I felt the same way. Like it, it started really strong for me with like just the visuals and the score and everything. I was like, all right, okay. And then I was just like, ah. I pitted out for me. I think starting at the award ceremony with the speech and then awarding the different awards and then the alien comes down, goes away, they quarantine and leave. I think that works as like a, like a fun, solid 30-minute short film, you know? Like if this was at a short film festival. The alien scared me. The, I, I really did like the alien design and the picture they took. They, they, they thought about the design and how it would look in... I mean, it's Wes Anderson, so of course they're going to think of the aesthetics, but they really thought of like how the photography would affect... Uh, just like the harsh shadows and the 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 overt features of the creature. That was why was it scared really me. Nice. Was the eyes? Yeah. Like it had very like Jeff the Killer vibes. Like Nosferatu. Just boink! the big big eyes are very scary. Like that's why Jeff the Killer is so fucking scary. That's why I I wake up in the middle of the night screaming when I think about Jeff the Killer. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you know, uh, fun fact: Jeff the Killer, I think was was Daniel's like top like feared creepy pasta. Jeff the Killer, mm -hmm. he is scary. He was obsessed with it. We would we would send this website to people where it was just a jump scare with his face on it. We would go be like, "Oh my god, have you heard about?" And then like someone in the class, we, we we were a bit mean with baiting shit, but then they'd open it and it would scare the shit out of him because it blows oh, out. Oh yes, it blows out your speakers. I got sent that too in high school. <laughs> we just get messages like, "Fuck you, that's you, not even funny." It's you open like, it and it flashes Jeff the Killer and it goes, "Boom!" The break. Jeff the Killer is terrifying. Yeah. I, I'm not a fan of Jeff the Killer. I mean, he's a killer for Christ's sake, dude. Yeah. I mean, I forget like what, what the story I've, is. I don't think I've ever known the story. What the creepypasta is. Let me take a wild shot in the dark, though, Ryan. It's a guy named Jeff, and he's a killer. Did I fucking nail it? Let me guess. He stalks you and shows up in dark corners of your room at night when you're trying to sleep? Dude, I bet I can find that Jeff the Killer website right now, and I bet... We gotta learn... The, I, the lore of Jeff the Killer. I bet that I Wait, can... Matt, your mom just got arrested. Ellips that's that's uh, Justin's holding up a whiteboard and it said Matt's mom was just arrested for stealing my boner. Justin! Exclamation point, exclamation point. You scared point, me, man. Point. I thought my mom actually got arrested and, and he here you are you making a, a sex joke about her. And, and she and watches with this. with a neener neener and a... I don't, I, he couldn't hit the na 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 boo boo. He didn't no, have both he hands. He put the L on his forehead. Yeah, though. yeah. Um, which is just absolutely bullshit. Uh, but I want to find the Jeff the Killer website because I want to just mass text it to a bunch of people right now on the podcast and see their reactions. Does I'm gonna send it to Brent. Brent's gonna get the Jeff the Killer. Your mom's not interested in Justin, right? No, not that I know of. Because like I know, <laughs> I know the it. reason. I know the reason she came after me was because like you know, your dad. He's a bit. He has a few screws loose, and he's his old age. He's getting like kind of decrepit and saggy in the tits. You know, he's getting that that old man smell, and she she picked me because I was the younger, you know, spawn, I guess. And then uh, you're not feeble like Dale. And now I feel like 
something's happening with Justin. I mean, Ryan, you answered the question yourself. Dale got a little too old, so she went for something younger, but what's happening to you now? I'm getting a little older. I know I've put on weight since the boxing, and I know I... I, I, I I like food too much. I'm a piece of shit. I know, I know. I, the age is getting to me. I am honestly really pissed off at this fly because he he took it easy and now he's buzzing in oh, circles. I see him. He's going around Listen. your head right now. He's right there. Hold on. He's literally buzzing like I'm right go, around my I'm fucking go try head. To find a fly gun. Can you can you tell the people more? Uh, yes. Tell, tell, tell them what you thought about Jeff Goldblum in in Wes Anderson's he's in there, Asteroid City. He's in the movie for one shot. Uh, Spoilers. this fly is fucking annoying, dude. He literally like, Luke, you gotta, you gotta, you gonna have to zoom in when that fly is around my head. He's coming back. He's coming back. Here, who should I, who should I text the Jeff the Killer thing to? I'm gonna send it to uh to Brent. Uh, Brent, it's been a while since we've pranked Brent on the podcast. Yo, thought you might get a kick out of this. There we go. Okay. I have deployed the Jeff the Killer uh, jump scare to Brent. Now, let me... Who else should I hit? Uh, perhaps uh, Rocco from Mega64. How about him? Yo. Thought you'd get a kick out of this one. And then, uh, there we go. But Rocco from Mega64, he is about to be, uh, pranked. I'll tell you right now. Um, who else? Let me get one more person. Um, hmm. One more person. Who should I pick? Ooh, I could do Aaron Hansen from Game Grumps. Ross O'Donovan from Game Grumps. Uh... Hmm, there's a lot of a lot of good choices here. Uh perhaps who who's someone that it just it 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 would not uh be cool to do it to. That's that's what I'm looking for. Really gotta scroll down quite a bit uh to find someone. How about my old therapist? Oh, should I do it to Danny? No, Danny would get too upset if I do that. Okay, Brent just said, I don't trust links you send. And I said, it's safe, haha. Ha. This fly is fucking, yeah, you, you, you want to be a fucking special guest on the podcast so bad, don't you? It's fucking buzzing into the microphone, little shit. God damn it, man. Who left the room? Who out of the room? Who out of the room? <sighs> I must have pissed him off. He flew out of the room just now. Good because we don't have any more salt. I let him, uh, I, I cursed him out. He flew right by and I was yelling and then he went straight out the room. Good. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. What are you fucking talking about. I, st I, I asserted myself like you've been trying to tell me. One, I don't know, man, but I'm, yeah, I know I'm learning. Uh, so what I. You gotta, you gotta fucking bottle that shit. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. But I did it and it worked this time. Also. I'm proud of you. Updates. For, uh, I texted Brent, yo, I thought you might get a kick out of this, and I sent the Jeff the Killer website. <laughs> <laughs> and Brent said, I don't trust links you send. And I said, it's safe, haha. -ha. So now we just wait. I also sent it to Rocco. Does it from work Mega on mobile? It does. Look, I'll, I'll show you, actually. <laughs> I sent it to Rocco from Mega64. <laughs> you click it. <laughs> Accept the cookies. <laughs> It fucked up on No, 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 no. Last time, no, this? that's the only time it's fucked up. The okay. other times I opened it, it shows the full Jeff the Killer. Let me see if it does it this time. Okay. Why is it... <laughs> why is it messing up now? Regardless, it's scary, and, and Brent will scream. Also, well, Brent uses an Android. Who else can you send that to? I was thinking. I was like, I was like... Send it, send it to your dad. Say, did you see this article on the election? I'll say, holy shit, Dad. <laughs> They're reinstating <laughs> Donald Trump as president. <laughs> no! And say something a little more realistic, because I know you could say I'm saying, I'm saying, did you see this? And I'm just sending it to him. <laughs> did you see this? And I'm saying huge. <laughs> huge. All right, who else? Who else can I get with this one? Danny? 
<laughs> da- dude, Danny this, might. This might send da- like Danny might come <laughs> to my house might, with a weapon if I do this. like. This might, might this might be the straw that breaks the. He might bring the lawyers after you, dude. Like this might be. It's like all right. First the wig thing, <laughs> then the fucking white supremacist group. Now you're sending me Jeff the Killer. Oh, uh, we don't. Thank you. We don't need it anymore. But right, uh, yeah, we don't need it, Josie. But I'm gonna keep them together. Thank you, though, Josie. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Josie grabbing the, the How about salt? My, my half brother I've never met who's 39 years old mm. I could send it to him when we definitely don't have that type of relationship no. oh and by the way uh, Josie is Jim's sister yeah for anyone yeah she's just been helping us around the office very We're, helpful we got some uh, big uh uh, some big announcements coming up soon. Stay tuned for that. Oh, Jim already leaked it on Twitter. We are moving into a new oh, super okay. megaplex, but we'll do a more formal announcement. <laughs> Jim, did he just put? Did he just go? He tweeted it. Yeah. When? <laughs> uh, like a week ago. He's like, we're working on a music video. There's a new super megaplex. We've got big videos in the works. We told him not to promise specific things, right? He, he bullet pointed specific things. <laughs> I no, I'm like, I'm glad he's getting people hyped, but I'm like, God damn it, because like, I I, we don't want to promise specific things and then not, and then people get upset because we don't carry through. Uh, okay, I could send it to. Uh, I should probably be like, uh, you know, I should probably unmute super mega. You should. I have no, I, uh, oh, I didn't, I turned the notifications off. But <laughs> I had them on. How about I send it to, uh, I'll send it to Hassan. <laughs> Yo, did you see this? <laughs> it's gonna, dude. I haven't, I haven't texted, last time we texted. It looks like someone's hacking you. It looks like someone got your phone number and is trying to fucking scam people. Last time Yo, I. Yo, did you see this? Last time I texted him was in February, so we we haven't spoken for in Valentine's several months. Day? Yeah, um, and uh, well, it was the day after Valentine's Day. I was hey, thanking him for the night we, before. We need to take that boy, put him across our lap, and spank him. He's he's getting in fights all the time. Hassan on, on Piker, tw- yeah, yeah, Twitter, he's always Twitter. fighting. He's always fighting with people. What like like? Come on, man, take a freaking chill pill. <laughs> I know. You know, whatever whatever happened to to, to peace, love, and rock and roll? That's you know? what I'm saying. Uh, I'll, you know what? Hassan needs to do. He just needs to do a stream where all he does is is smoke, and 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 watch like fun, like watch Planet Earth, and you know, react to it. I bet if Hassan Piker take DMT and watch Planet Earth. <laughs> I bet if, if Hassan Piker just smoked a little a little pot, you know, I don't think he'd be so angry all the time. No, I think I think that would that would change a lot. <sighs> you, you think he's gonna watch this on stream now? No. If he's watching this on stream, hey! Uh, sorry everyone, uh, we were just informed by Jim, uh, that we are invited to Hassan's uncle's bris, so it's probably not the best thing to be making inflammatory statements. Yes. Um, but anyways, uh, so very, very, we will, very excited for that. Did we finish? I I guess we said everything we needed to say about Wes Anderson. And, and, yeah, and and uh, <laughs> about uh, Wes Anderson. Uh, it was more, I, mostly about Asteroid City, right? It was boring. Aesthetics were fun. Wish they had more like an actual like emotional through line. All right, we hit all the notes. We did hit all the notes, I think. Uh, uh, but ooh, I have some responses from people. Okay, uh, who's first? First will be the response from Brent. <laughs> okay. He just said dick. <laughs> and then Rocco <laughs> Rocco just said no. <laughs> um Rocco's smart. <sighs> Danny is looking real promising to send. Your dad that to hasn't you. sent anything back yet? No, my dad hasn't said anything yet. <laughs> Dude, send it to <laughs> send it to Joanne. Joanne? I don't want to send it to Joanne. <laughs> Uh, Say, I know we, I know we haven't talked much, but uh, this made me think of you, and I hope we can connect better next time I visit. Dude, I, send that as a link. I have so many names in my phone that I don't know who the not who is who the fuck is Nigel Thornberry. I just have I just have Nigel. I don't know who Nigel is. I don't know a Nigel. I don't think. Do we know a Nigel? I Thornberry. Come we do on, know Nigel like, Thornberry. Like, come on. <laughs> Voiced by 
Nigel Thornberry. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. I, Niall Red, the chemistry YouTuber ah. guy. Um, okay. Uh, I I'm I'm getting to the bottom of my contacts. Just trying to find someone really good. Uh, don't see anything. Our lawyer. Yeah. I haven't talked to our lawyer in a while. Hey, man, really urgent. Need you to check this. <laughs> Just send it to Jim. Jim's a perfect candidate. Jim is a really perfect it's like, candidate. It's like, it's like, hey, can you look at this for reference for uh, the music video shoot? I'll send it to Jim right now. <laughs> a part of this podcast, yes, is is hearing the natural sound of two best friends pranking their other friends. That's what's fun, man. <laughs> Can you uh, check this out for the music video real quick? And then let me paste the link. Cool. Now we just wait. Yep. <sighs> we'll see what uh, we'll see what maybe Hassan will respond. And, and Jim has to be checking his phone, right? He has his phone. He has that phone on him at all times. Oh, he does have. He keeps that thing on him. Anyway, yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll get more updates later in the pod about uh, our Jeff the Killer prank. Uh, pretty classic stuff, right there. Pretty good shit. Pretty good shit. Pretty good shiznit. Yeah, remember? Sh- yeah, dude, you're the oh, fucking yeah. shiznit, Ryan. Dude, this is the shiznit. This podcast is the fucking shiznit, dude. It is. It is, man. Super Mega Cast is, as they say, the shiznit. I mean, we have recorded almost nearing. 400 ish episodes yeah. because you know we have we have like round up yeah yeah round we up. crossed 350 you can round up yeah, now exactly. that's what they teach you in school yeah exactly you know it's closer to the end than the beginning when you it, get to 3.5 apparently exactly and you guys are actually really close to some ad reads let's go ahead and, and play those this episode of Super Mega Cast is brought to you by BetterHelp. Give online therapy a try at betterhelp.com slash supermega and get on the way to being your better self. Feeling uncertain in life is one of those things that unfortunately we all experience, but when that happens, it's great to have the tools to best navigate it and pull yourself out of that uncertainty. The best way to do that is with therapy. I go to therapy frequently. Uh, I've been for many years. I love it and I truly believe it has made me a much better version of myself. And if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, why not try BetterHelp? Whether you're dealing with decisions around career, relationships, or anything else, therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life. So you can move forward with confidence and excitement. Trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values is like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. BetterHelp is entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. And if you want, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash SuperMega to get 10% off your first month. That's right. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash SuperMega. Get yourself some therapy and start being the happiest, best version of you. Yippee! My dad's 14th wedding is coming up next month, and I am so excited to be there on his big day, but I gotta look sharp. I'm one more super mega t-shirt at a wedding away from being disowned by my father, and I don't want that to happen. So thank the Lord I found Indochino. Looking sharp all wedding season long shouldn't be expensive. With a custom fitted suit from Indochino, you'll create priceless memories without costing a fortune. Customize every detail on your suit, shirt, dinner jacket, and more in a range of colors from traditional black or gray to burgundy or olive to a classic Hemsworth navy. I went online. I customized my own Indochino suit. They ship it straight to me. I'll tell you what, it is so soft, so comfortable, and guess what? I look so suave and stylish. I got that burgundy suit. I look fly. I look sexy. And my dad is so proud that I didn't wear more super mega merch to another one of his weddings. Every suit is made to your exact measurements, and you can customize every single detail. Create a suit that fits you and your style perfectly, with options for fabrics, lapel shape, custom monograms, statement linings, and more. They also have tuxedos starting at $579. Why rent when you could buy a custom tux you can rewear for years to come? Indochino also offers completely custom fitted shirts, casual wear, and more. Get superior wardrobe personalized to your style and taste without the luxury price tag. They're always adding new pieces and options, so you can stay on trend and in style. RSVP knowing you've got the perfect look all wedding season long from Indochino. Go to Indochino.com and use code SUPER to get 10% off any purchase of $3.99 or more. That's I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O.com, promo code SUPER. Give that buttocks a shower fresh clean whenever the swamp butt hits. The next best thing to jumping in a pool in your birthday suit midsummer, sitting on your Hello Tushy bidet. 
if you're going to be smelling down there, you're producing a lot of sweat. You're producing a lot of, uh, some would call it pheromones. O- others would just probably uh, just not. It's not a pleasant smell. And to help you clean down there, a, a bidet is perfect. I know I use a bidet personally. Matt uses a bidet. And Justin, we have been talking to him. And here's the thing. He's the perfect candidate for a bidet because he stinks. But he could fix that if he used Hello Tushy Bidet. The Hello Tushy Bidet washes your bum with fresh water for a way better clean than toilet paper. Simply spray and pat dry. Attaches to your existing toilet. There's no electrician or plumber needed. and installs in less than eight minutes. Cuts down your TP use by 80%, saving money and paper waste. Make the restroom your best room with the complete Tushy system, including the Tushy Bidet attachment. Ottoman toilet brush, and tushy stand-in tissues. It attaches to your existing toilet, requires no electricity or additional plumbing, and cuts toilet paper use by 80%. Hello Tushy Bidet pays for itself in a few months. Every Hello Tushy Bidet attachment comes with a 60-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty. With over 100,000 five-star reviews, see why millions of people already love Hello Tushy. Go to hellotushy.com forward slash supermega and use promo code supermega to get 10% off plus free shipping on your first bidet order. That's hellotushy.com slash supermega for 10% off. Boy, oh boy, do we have a treat for all of y'all. Yes, that's right. Uh, During that commercial break, let's just say one of our employees got got. Uh, Luke, why don't you roll the clip? Dude! Okay, so which size is this? This? Got his ass. You just got Jeff the Killer. We are now back from the clip. Yep. Get Jeff the Killer, Jim. Yeah, Jim just got Jeff the Killer. You pretty, cheating bastard. Pretty hard. Uh, and he was not happy. No. Not happy. No, not at all. Uh, I, I sent it to Meat Canyon, and he just responds, I'm in L.A. Didn't even fucking tell, tell us, dude. Did, you know, want to know my last conversation with, with Hunter? I'm going to put him on black. I'm telling him, I'm saying, check that link. And I, and I sent it to him real quick. So this, is, this, this, this was Hunter. He texts me, yo, and then texts me again because I forget the text back. He texts me, yo, again. I respond within 10 minutes. I'm like, yo, what's up? He's like, how you doing, bro? I tell him how I'm doing, and I ask, how about you? Nothing. Does he ever do that? I feel like, I feel like I've, I've heard you say like, hunters like, will like, get your attention. Be like, hey, yeah, what's up? And then it just goes, he just goes silent. I'll be like, yo. I'll be like, hey, I'm in nothing. He's trying to play hard to get. Yeah, that's what he's doing, man. He's he's trying to make us just. Uh, he wants us to star in his new movie. Just he just has to ask. Just he just he thinks that we would. He thinks that we're like uh, too famous to be in his movie. Which, to be honest, we are. But I'll still do it. He just has to ask. Yeah, you know, like I'll I'll do it for like, I don't know. I'll do it for a few million instead of a couple million. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh. So uh, also my uh my dad said can't open this on my end. And Hunter said, I did open it. It was spooky. Nightmare fuel. <laughs> Maybe he can make one of his little cartoons about that one, Meat Canyon. Luke just walked past the door just to give everyone a... Because uh, the even the visual uh, listeners couldn't see that one. Nope. But Luke did walk past the door. Luke got a haircut recently, and he looks very handsome. It looks really good. I, yeah. I want to know who cuts his hair. Well, he got it in Sacramento. Oh, so, I mean, if we I want... if we want, We got we to gotta drive like six hours to Sacramento if we want that. Might be worth it. Honestly, yeah, you and I might have to, you know, cancel all of our plans this weekend and drive to Sac. You know, get get a little little snip snipped. Not the not circumcised. We're already circumcised, you and I. Yeah, partially. We're not so different, you and I. We're both cut from the same cloth, so to speak. Cut from the same cloth could be a euphemism for saying to a, a fellow man, "Hey, we're both circumcised." You know. When a man. Loves a woman. What does he do? See, my brain wants to go, he can't keep his mind on nothing else. But that's not, those are the lyrics. I, I actually have says. no clue what comes after when a man loves a woman. Because, like, growing up in, like, movies and TV shows and jokes, that's you, the part you, ju- that you, you just hear that. When a man loves a woman. Such a good, it's great. And then... But but it stops there. I, I don't know what comes next. Damn. 
I feel like a woman. Bum, bum, ba, na, 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 na. Yeah. Da, na, 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 That's na, the next part of the song. Na, it, it, they throw it to Shania na, Twain. Na, na, na. Totally crazy. karaoke song i love that song you know what's a great karaoke song that it's that, right up there with vacation by the go-go's vacation song it's a good song Th that is better than the previous go-go's vacation by go-go's is like top tier music i will me. say i hate their christmas song but you like vacation i like vacation of course but for some you don't reason, have to like their you don't have to like their christmas I don't like song the as long as you like vac as, as long as you like vacation I like Vacation, but I'll be honest, every other Go-Go song I've ever heard, I don't like it. I'm the same way. I only like Vacation by it the It might be because I'm deeply, inherently misogynist, uh, and I don't like women, uh, so that might be a part of it, but I just don't like the music that much. I just have a, I just have a <clears throat> immature, nostalgic tie to, to a Rugrats episode where they went to Ve uh, Vegas, and that's the lead song, and then Angelica sings it at the end. Rugrats are the only reason why I have a nostalgic tie to that one song, One Way... To another. another, I'm gonna, gonna find you. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get, you, get, 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 get you one yeah. way. It's I'll see you next movie. week or whatever. It says. Is that from the movie? Mm -hmm. But ah. it's Angelica singing it because uh, she's she's trying to find Angelica sings, dude. Angelica Slade. Yeah, she Angelica and Susie and Lil all slay. Oh yeah, uh, and Kimmy. Kimmy also slays. Who's Kimmy? Isn't that the the stepdaughter that that uh that uh Chucky's dad gets with the he, black hair after he remarries? Yeah, 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 yeah. After Rugrats in Paris. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or is Kimmy the name of the wife? I think Kimmy. I think Kimmy's the kid. Yeah. Right. Well, what? Uh, I need to rewatch it, considering you know that movie did predict the September 11th terrorist attacks. Rugrats yeah. in Paris. Chucky. He goes nine eleven. Yep. At one part, and there's another part in that movie where it shows an airplane flying, Ryan, and it flies behind a building. Hmm. Do you see it come back from behind? You just a see building? Which All tells grown me, up, I really want to shout it out. out. All grown up, I want the world to know. That was a good show. Or something I liked. Like that. I that that was that's one of the few spinoff shows that I actually was like, this is a good spinoff show. It didn't. I of course I think that the. The kind of fantasy show they had with Rugrats because of the the childlike imaginations, right, that they put on display a lot of the time, ha has a lot of avant garde humor. Like it's, it, just, it has that '90s oddness to it, and it that, does. and and that and that grime that like all grown up really can only center around like their teen problems. And while it's still like a good show, I re you'll never be able to outdo the Rugrats. Because I think, you know, they use their imagination. You think of the Rugrats, they're like, I think in the movie, right, they're doing like the Indiana Jones temple yeah, in Paris that's and the stuff. Scene. So like, I, I like shit like that. It's it's this, they do the similar, or they do the exact same thing in the Toy Story movies, especially in Toy Story 2 and 3, where it starts out with like Buzz on a, on a mission. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah, find yeah. out it's Rex playing the fucking game. Like, oh! I'll tell you what, man. Something about Rugrats is I get, I get royally pissed. PO'd. I, I get royally pissed off. Tell me about it. At the theme song when when Tommy uh, thinks it's acceptable to squirt that fucking milk right at the screen, right, right at his parents' faces. Like no, that, wait, is it at our face? It's our face, dude. That's he goes, right. he goes, and, and I, I don't know where in his mind he thought that that would be an acceptable thing to do. The the Rugrats theme and the cat dog theme are one hundred percent the best theme songs on Nickelodeon for me, or like in, in general and like. They or I will say this: They are my most nostalgic songs. One I think actually, Fanboy and Chum Chum had the best theme song. What? Fanboy and Chum Chum had the best theme. What song. What is that one? It's it's actually probably the most annoying song I've ever heard in my fucking life. It not it. So you're saying it's not as good as the Chalk Zone theme song? What was the Chalk, chalk Zone? Theme chalk, song? chalk 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 Zone. Chalk to Chalk to Chalk. I think that's what it was. I think that's all it was. I'm gonna look it up real quick, and we're gonna get copyright struck. No, we're not. Okay. What's the what, what what show has what are your top three best theme songs of any TV show? Go. Um, uh, I just listed uh, Rugrats, Cat Dog, and then Hey Arnold. Of any TV show, those I, I I really like those. For me, 
number one. Oh, Breaking Knock Bad. in the like, middle. Bow, bow. Yeah, but I guess I'm thinking of song. Was that song made specifically for the show? Mm-hmm. Was it? Yeah. No way. I didn't know that. See, I just thought it was something that the show. They, they did. They did the the like all the incidental or whatever it's called music too. All like the. I, doom, I just didn't doom, know that the, that song was made doom. specifically for the show. I just thought like yeah. the show used it as like their opener. I mean, te- usually a lot of shows will use a free to use song. Right. I think uh, the the two examples that I think of right off the bat are what like Louis C- Louis. The show, right, and then uh, the Always Sunny in Philadelphia, I yeah. believe, right. They use like a very royalty free song. Well, the Louis the song, song wasn't royalty free. They just licensed that though. Oh, okay. Because that was that's like a famous '70s song. Okay, but uh, there's a lot of examples of people in the entertainment industry being able to go. I'm going to use this for free because no one has the rights to it because it's free for public consumption and use. Let's wait until Super Mega enters public domain in 2052. Are you ready for this, dude? Yeah. Shock's own theme song. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I remember this. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm in shock zone. This doesn't stroke in my bone. Why don't I? Dude, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends had a killer theme song, too. Is it, how did that one go? It's a great theme song. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm surprised that was still in uh in here somewhere. Yeah, I, you know what's crazy is like since since you first knew that song, every moment of your life since then that's been in your brain. It's just been sitting in the back. The neural so, pathways were just unlocked yeah. for that to happen. So like any any huge life event since that that you can think of, that song was just there waiting, waiting to fucking be called forth. Think about how Thank much God. how much information you have in your brain that's just not being called forward at the moment, and it's just sitting there. Well, luckily our brains do a huge amount of dumping throughout our day because we're habitual creatures, and our brains. Uh, tend to forget things that we do a lot. You probably remember like 5% of, of your day. Mm-hmm. And when I say like you can remember like concepts <laughs> and details from your day, but you don't remember the details. Like wh- I'm looking at you right now. Out the corner of my eye, you know, I see like all the shadows and the colors. My brain's going to throw all of that out. Oh, of course. All of this information. Like You're, you're going to remember a feeling you had during the conversation or something I said. Maybe. I'll remember something you said. And then I can remember a general image of what this could like, look like. General conversation. Like we talked about this. Yeah. But uh, what's weird is uh, 98% of of my life in this moment is going to just get thrown out by my brain. It's just go well, whoop out the window. And and at some point, probably 100% of it. Like two years from now, I'm not going to remember this conversation. Do you remember a single fucking conversation important. we've you know. had on the podcast at episode like 20? Dude, we, we've, we've had this moment so many times where you and I walk out and it'll be like usually Jim. Uh, he'll be like, what did y'all talk about? And then, like, it'll be, like, uh, silent. We'll be like, honestly, I forgot everything that we Literally said. right after. Like, what are you guys <laughs> yeah. talking about in this one? I don't know. Because it's just, hey, we're just two dudes having a conversation. We're just having a good time. Mm-hmm. Shooting shooting the shit. Oh, yeah. You know? Uh, uh, oh, um, I have a question from the audience, actually. Yeah? And they want to get your opinion on... The trailer for The Machine. I've never even heard of The Machine. <laughs> Starring, fuck, what's his name? Brett, <laughs> what's his fucking name? Kavanaugh? No. I'm glad I'm glad he left the Supreme Court and does acting now. It's this fucking comedian, he like takes his shirt off a lot. I, oh man, what's his name? You're thinking of Brent. <laughs> no. Not Brett. <laughs> what's, I gotta... Hold up, hold up. It has Luke Skywalker in it. How have you not seen the trailers for The Machine, dude? You asshole. Dude, what? I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, man. What the fake hell? Fake fan. I never said dude, I was a Burt fan of Kreischer, The Machine. Burt Kreischer's new R-rated film with Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Burt Kreischer? I've okay. heard the name. What? What is Burt Kreischer, man? How about this? I'll do Burt, Burt Kreischer. His name is Burt, Burt Kreischer? No, his name is Burt. Bert Kreischer. Yeah, I'm Bert Bert. So it's Bert Kreischer. Bert is a funny ass name. Funniest compilation. Bert jokes. Imagine being named Bert. 
Let's see. Try not to laugh. Burt Kreischer, part one. It's like the automatopoeia for a fart sound. What's the deal with airplane peanuts? First time I ever heard the N word, I was at, uh, I was in, I was in first grade. And these black kids came into our neighborhood. We live in like a poor white neighborhood, and there was a poor black neighborhood, and like across, across, across Nebraska mm-hmm. or not Nebraska. I forget. Well, dude, that's pretty far then. If you're no, thinking, no, 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 that was the street name, not the. Oh, right on, bro. Yeah. And so, like, damn, this dude. I must have missed the joke. I didn't get it. No, it, it, that, that was the joke. Oh. Um. We just don't. We just don't listen to the whole conversation. That was it. That was the joke. <sighs> Hold up. Maybe, maybe. So is he a controversial figure? No. I, from that audio clip, you. That, yeah. You I mean, right I, off the bat, I was like, you know, like, his first thing is like the first thing I hear out of this guy's mouth is the first time I heard the N word. <laughs> here, here, here's a. How about maybe? This is who he is. Oh, this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've seen this guy's face before. Yeah. I know who he is. Odds are, you have to watch a Burt Kreischer stand-up special this weekend. Of my choosing. <laughs> Man. Hey, come on! Right, 20. 3, 2, 1, 13. Six. Fuck you. Arr. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. You really didn't want to see it that bad? No. What? Dude, that's just not You've how never I seen his shit. You don't weekend, know. Dude. You don't know Burt. You don't know how fucking awesome Actually, Bert is. I gotta sign like 500 CDs for tour, so well, like Bert needs on, to make money too. Yeah. 500 CDs, nuts. There it is. There it is. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to see more of that great humor, you can go to our Patreon right now and watch the after hours for this episode. And also in the after hours, we will get Matt's full reaction to the trailer for Bert Kreischer's. The machine. Yes, I'm very excited. It's gonna be it's gonna be huge, guys. You've you've never seen anything like it. So uh thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Super Mega Cast. We hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, wherever you are. And mm-hmm. uh say stay safe. Don't get on a, a submarine and uh yeah. Yeah, Luke, throw up uh to end us, you know, throw up your favorite uh picture of a whale. Well your favorite your favorite whale. Like, throw up your favorite whale. What your favorite beautiful. whale is. All right. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. (laughs) Matt and Ryan, that was not funny. But I love Super Mega.